The journey that the university has come on is that we've tried different portfolios across a number of years. We chose PebblePad at the end of quite a complicated procurement process. Uh, a high level decision was taken that the university should select an e-portfolio system and we then went about uh, as inclusive a procurement process as we could manage. We tried to identify the very many different stakeholders across the university and we tried to bring them all in to what turned out to be a, a long and quite complicated procurement process because there were so many different backgrounds that we were trying to encompass. Uh, it was important to us to get the right mix of criteria in, in that procurement so that it wasn't driven by technical considerations above everything else. And it was very hard to bring out the, the pedagogical requirements when people didn't quite know what they wanted to do. It was a bit like saying to somebody, well, you're going to go out and buy some plaster seed, what are you going to do with it? And you don't know in advance what you're going to do with it. You know that you're going to want to squish it and squeeze it and make some things, but you can't articulate beforehand exactly what you're going to want to make because you don't know until you work with it and know where it takes you. So, so that made it quite a, a challenging process. Uh, the students were very important to us in the in the procurement process. They, they played a, a very big role and we made sure that we had an element which was hands-on evaluation of all the systems that got through the, the first stage of the procurement. So we spent a lot of time actually physically trying out the different systems that we that we looked at and it was at the end of that that we chose pebble part we were trying to get a balance between what would work for students and what would work for staff uh, so we needed to have something that could feel right for all those people so products which were aimed essentially at the school market would probably have worked very well with freshers, but they weren't going to go down very well with late stage ac academics or senior research focused people. So we needed to get something that could work across all those different kinds of communities. And I think that was one thing that was that was quite challenging. If, if the portfolio tool was too rigid in its view of what you should do with a portfolio, that made it harder to fit in for us. So, so there was almost conflicting criteria that we were kind of trying to satisfy at once. And PebblePad came out best overall. We invited people that we thought might be interested from a number of different parts of the university. And then we asked colleges and the Students Association and other people to nominate somebody, recognising that it was likely to take a considerable amount of their time. So the, the whole evaluation process, or involving more than just the immediate team, took about six months. So that was uh, from the first PQQ that went out, um, and people then I had to rate the different responses that came into that so that was a lot of responses and we rated those uh, and then we had people came in and did demonstrations so where it was a, a, a commercially led demonstration of the product and then we had uh, at least a month that we could get hands-on access ourselves and we were all trying different sorts of things and then we had to come together and pool all the different experiences that we found and then we had another question and answer session with the people to sort out things that we had answers to so we we got a team of people that agreed at the beginning they recognized that there was going to be considerable time that would go into this process so they agreed to do that with us and we did that together uh, this, and we had I think three student representatives involved in that process.